Hello, and welcome to a walkthrough for what is not a genuinely approachable Sudoku, but it has generated some interesting discussion. So, today, I'm going to take a look at This Sudoku Has One Solution by Clover. Now, if you want to give this puzzle a go, it's in the link below. Uh, if you want to hang around while I explain what the joke is here, um, and then give it a go, that's also cool. Um, or if you just want to watch me do this one, uh, you're also welcome to. Um, but, you know, dealer's choice. Uh, so, uh, this puzzle is called, This Sudoku Has One Solution. Now, normal Sudoku rules apply. Normal killer Sudoku rules apply. There are some non-overlapping cages drawn in the grid, orthogonally connected groups of at least two cells surrounded by a dashed outline. Each cage has a clue which is always written in the top left of the leftmost cell of the top rowest row of the cage. The sum of the digits in the cage equals that cage's clue. Digits do not repeat in cages. The grid contains no given uh, digits and no clues aside from killer cages, and don't let the fog hold you back. Now, this is all we have to start with. So, we have a cage here, which we know has to equal a total of three, and we have a cage here that has to equal a total of six. That's it. Cool. All right. Now, let's have a look. So, I know that a two-cell cage must be one and two, and I know that a three-cell cage totaling six must be equal to one, two, three. Now, if you've never seen what is called uniqueness before, um, let me explain it to you. So, this is called this Sudoku has one solution. It only has one solution. So, how can this cell be three? If this cell is 3, that means this would have to be 1 and 2, which would mean that there are two solutions. Either we could have 1 and 2 and 2 and 1, or it could be 2, 1, 1 and 2. Um, and that would mean that there are no longer two solutions. There is only one. So we need to avoid that case. So we know that this cannot be equal to 3. Now, these two cells have to be 1 and 2, so the only cell that this can be is 3. Let's take that out of there. Now, we know that we, ha we can see that this is a two cell taking a third cell cage being 1, 2, and 4. Now, if this cell is 4, um, we have another two solutions. This could either be 1, 1, 1, and 2, 2, 2, or the reverse. So this cell can't be 4. Uh, meaning, this cell must be 4. This technique is called unique rectangles, by the way. Um, by using our knowledge that we can't have two solutions in a puzzle, we can actually use that to go, hmm, okay, how do we avoid this? And we can use those strategies. The whole currency of this puzzle is that we cannot possibly have two solutions. Now, uh, lowest, uh, the digits in a three cell eight cage have to be uh, one to five. It must always have a one. Now, lowest this can be is either four or five because we've got a one, two pair and a three here. Now, because this is four or five, uh, this can only be one, two or three. Now, we know that we are trying to avoid our unique rectangle um, where there's only two ways to make one and two. Now, um, if this is five, we end up with yet another unique rectangle, um, because this could be one, 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 and one, and two, 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 et cetera, or the other way. So because we know that that can't ever have a five, it must be a four. And then this is a one, three pair. Now, uh, this is at least a two cell 11 cage. The lowest two digits that these two can be is 5 and 6, which does equal 11. We know that that has to be um, 5 and 6 then. That's cool. So this, uh, this 11 cage, it's got to be at least two cells, but it could be three. Uh, it can't be four because to make a four cell 11 cage, you would need one, two, three, and five. Now, this... For uh, this 11 cage, it's not the most apparent piece of logic, but here we go. Um, it needs to have a 2. 
And the question is, where does that two go? So why does it need to have a two? If it's a two cell 11 cage, then it can't be a three eight because we've got a three in the box. It can't be a four uh, seven because this is a four seven. And it can't be five six because this would make another unique rectangle. So if it can't be uh, those, it needs to be possibly two nine, which means I've got to put a two there. But if this is a three cell cage, the lowest three digits it could take is two, four, and five. If I have a four here, it means that I would need to put a four. If, if this is a three cell cage, I would need to put a four there, meaning my twos will still end up in this spot. So I can't put the four there just yet, but knowing that two must be in one of these two cells means it cannot be here. Let's do some, uh, let's do some Sudoku and unwind all of this. So, um, all right. Uh, ta -ta -ta -ta. Uh, this is six, eight, and nine. This is, uh, oh, okay. Uh, this is three, five, and seven. I can't put a three there. Um, and I know a seven must go there. That's a tool we can use later. Now, where does four go in box five? Four needs to go here. Now, this piece of uh, logic has uh, destroyed a bunch of people uh, who have tried this puzzle so far. So, where five can't go in a uh, 15 cage, and this is what the grid looks like if we pencil mark it together. Now, what happens here is this has to be seven, eight, nine. Now, this is an interesting one. Uh, the way that I kind of explain this to myself is we are trying to avoid yet another unique rectangle. Now, five has to go down here. Uh, what happens if we make this a, oh God, sorry. Uh, if we make this seven, eight, if we make this seven, eight, this becomes nine. Now, what's this 11 cage? Well, it can't be two nine, can't be three eight, and it can't be four seven, so it must be five six. But now, nine eight seven, we have yet another unique rectangle being this five six. So we can't have that. So this has to be six and nine. So now I can clean this up a little bit. Okay, this is a six eight nine triple, meaning this must be seven. And this is eight, nine, take the seven out of there. Uh, can this be eight? And the answer is no, because that would make this eight. If this was eight, we have another unique rectangle, six, nine, six, nine. Nice. Uh, so if I take the eight out of here, this is a six, nine pair, meaning this is eight. And I take this eight out of here and I put a seven in there. This has to be four, five, six, and seven. Uh, because it can't be two nine or three eight. Now, a couple things. This 17 cage is going to be a little bit of a mess to try and unfold, but we can do this. So I know that one, two can't go in there. I know that one, two can't go in there. I have a one here and I know two must go in there. So one, two can't go there. So this has to be one and two. Now let's have a look at what the possible combinations for uh, 17 are in three cells. If this has to be a one, to, uh, if this has to have a one and a two, um, we get that. Now, uh, uh, I just had a brain fade. Um, Oh, pardon me. Um, one, two. Ah. Ah, yes, yes, there we go. So, well, the thing that you need to spot is this one, which is two, six, and nine. If this was two, six, and nine, it would mean that this has to be six, nine. Now, these six, nines with those ones and those ones would create yet another unique rectangle. So, because I know that it can't be uh, two, six, nine, I know that I now need to place a seven in that cage because I can't, I can't place it in this cell. I must place it here. 
Now we can do a little bit more Sudoku. This can't be 4, 7, so it must be 5 and 6, but I can take the 6 out thanks to the 15 cage, 6 and 5. Now, uh, because this can't have... Oh, uh, 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 so this is either 8 or 9, but it can't be 8 because we've already got that there. So it becomes a 1, 7, 9 cage. Now we can do a bunch more Sudoku. Five. Uh, five. Now, uh, just, 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 ah, this nine here rules this out of being a um of being a two cell uh eleven cage. So I need to go put a four here, seven here, and this is now a two five pair. I will do a little bit more Sudoku to clean this up. Three five and four. Now. Uh, this is three, four, seven. Four can't go there. So this is four. Now, this fourteen cage, it can either be five, nine, or six, eight. I'm leaving that calculator there because it's helpful. But if this was six, eight, that would form a unique rectangle there. So it's five, nine. Nine in box two tells us where it goes. Now, uh, three, five, seven, and three. Now, this fourteen cage, it can't be five, nine. And if it was 6, 8, it would leave no candidates there. So it needs to be a 3-cell 14 cage. So 6, 7, 8, meaning it can never have an 8 here, meaning that's a 6, 7. If it takes a third cell, it needs to come down, making that a 1. Uh, and I can then do 8, 6, and 8 there. Now, I have... Okay. This is two, three, four. This is one, two, three, five. Now, both of these are two cell cages, which are some two five, so they can never have a five in them. And this is one. Now, this is the part that probably stumped me the most when I did this puzzle for the first time. Uh, this is a, um, these are two five cages. Now, there are only two ways to make five, and because of our unique rectangles, we can never have the same cage be the same contents. So this can't be two, three, and two, three, meaning this has to be one, two, three, four. Now, this has to be, uh, this has to be, uh, one of these has to have a one in it, so one of these has to have a four. If I take the four out of here, now we reach an interesting question. What's this cell? And the answer is, it has to be five. Why does it have to be five? Because if I put, if I didn't have it as five, this is two, three, and now I form a unique rectangle with any one of these five cages. Doesn't matter which one is two, three, it forms a unique rectangle, which is what we are trying to avoid. So if I put a five here, uh, this is three, seven, five. Four, seven, eight. Uh, this can't be three, so this can't be two. Put a two there. Uh, now, this has to be uh, four and seven, so I take the eight out of here. This is eight now. Uh, this is three, six, nine. Take the nine out of here. Uh, take the nine out of here. Now, this is an X wing on fives, because five either has to go there or there, or there or there which means five must go in one of those cells, but because I already have two fives in the column, apologies, you may hear a bell going in a second. I am recording this at work. Um, six, nine, take the two fives out. We can now do a bunch of Sudoku to unwind this puzzle. Four, one, three, two, seven, four, six, seven. Now, this is three, six, eight, three out. This is... Two and nine, one, four, seven, a seven, one, four. Apologies. Now, I can't have a nine in a three cell cage ever. So this is two, this is nine. Take the eight out of there. This is eight, five, two, uh, six, five, three, and six. Now, uh, we are just into regular old Sudoku now. So um, this 
has been hopefully a really interesting take on something that you don't see every day. If you're a long-term viewer of Kraken and Cryptic, you'll know that Simon frowns upon uniqueness. But this has been this Sudoku has one solution by Clover. I'm Bill. Feel free to drop a like, comment, subscribe, tell us how much you hated this or loved it, whatever, you know. Um, if I've skipped through a step too quickly, feel free to uh, drop a question in the comment and hopefully I will be able to explain in a neat fashion. But um, until next time, bye for now.